Hello, so this is very different to the videos that I usually make, but, well, yeah, the, this is, hello, this is very different to the videos that I usually post on this channel, which are usually have an RC plane in or a model rocket that I've designed and 3D printed. Well, this one is different because I, if, I am um, correct, I may have just discovered something new in the area of fluid dynamics. And, well, I'm 13, so that'd be amazing. If you are someone with a background in fluid dynamics or aerospace engineering or just physics in general, and you either think this idea has merit or... You've seen a paper that dispro that either disproves or has already found this out. Please put that in the comments, as this is kind of serious. So, but anyway, I would like to call this just a disclaimer. If this does actually become something, I'm going to name it the Inman effect. Just you know, names and stuff. Well, okay, let's get on with it. So, imagine you have incoming air in this direction. Here, you have a delta wing of, so say, an aircraft. Normal way that delta wings generate, have stability, is on the leading edges of the wing, there is obviously drag from the air hitting the wing, or the airfoil. So, if I just put the pen here, as a center of gravity, for a pivot point on the yaw axis, let's say I turn it this way, then this surface here has a lot more drag and even acts more like a lever than this surface, surface here. Therefore, this generates drag and pushes it back round to be stable to being level on the yaw axis. Now this is how flying wings are stable, but this is not my what I think my discovery is. My discovery is with physically the complete opposite, an anti-delta wing. So here, as shown on that, I've tried to label where the most drag is, or the helpful drag. On here, the drag that causes stability is the drag on the leading edges of the wing, whereas on the anti-delta wing, the drag that is helpful and supports my theory is the drag and friction created by the air passing over the passing over and under the airfoil, the same as there is a force opposing me moving this this piece of paper across another piece of paper. But anyway, I digress. So what my theory is, is that if you think, so here's another one. Usually there is just the friction of the air moving this way across the airfoil. Whereas shown by this other arrow, if you move it sideways to so say if it was becoming unstable in a, on the yaw axis, move it that way, there is more drag on that side. So let's go back to this. So this, imagine this is a plane, an aircraft. If it moves this way on the your axis when there is incoming there in this direction, then the friction going across the, the air going across the wing is gonna have a lot further to travel to get across the wing than on this side. Therefore, this side it's like it's like me moving this paper, this paper, this model of the anti delta ring, this far versus this far. This the longer distance has more drag. So, if it has more drag on that side than that side, then it should also create stability, and therefore the wing should swing back to being level on the euro axis. 
that's the basics of the theory. So if I recap, normal fly, normal delta wings generate stability from the leading edge of the wing having more drag than the other in the event of a yaw instability. My theory is that if an anti-delta wing moves, then the friction from the air moving across the control surfaces, so, which is similar to me moving paper across another piece of paper, if you move it, on, shown by this arrow here, with incoming air that way, the, there'll be much more friction on this side of the centre of gravity than the other. Therefore, moving it back to being stable and level. That is the basics of my theory. At the end of this video, I'll try to post some information that I'll just edit into it to try and just again explain it even more. If you do have a background in physics or fluid dynamics or anything that could be helpful to this, please post a comment if you think this idea has merit or if you've seen this before and it's either been discovered already and or disproven. Now, one thing I want to make clear, I am not trying to discover the stability of delta wings. That's already been discovered. I am, my theory is the stability, the inherent stability of anti-delta wings. So if a plane is moving this way, it will keep itself stable. Now, as I'm quite experienced with making model aircraft, in the future I will try to make a... I will test and try to make a working prototype of a model that exercises this form of stability. But for now it's just a theory. So if you have any experience in this kind of stuff, please comment and just anything would be helpful because if it turns out it is a discovery, I'm 13, so, wow. Um, but yeah, just anything, any comments, any help with developing this theory, because I don't really have, like, like I said before, I'm only 13, so I don't really, don't exactly have a PhD in fluid dynamics, so I don't, can't really work out the ma maths and write a paper on it. This video also serves as a benchmark, so if it does uh, turn out to be a d new discovery, then, well, um, I got there first. So, but anyway, if you've got any helpful tips or know to or can disprove this theory, or it's already been done before, just comment. Or if you know someone who's good at it, please share this video with them. This video was not made for views. I'm genuinely interested to see if I can, if I have discovered something here. So the more comments, the better. I guess if you like and subs if you like that can get the video shared to more people, higher chance that there'll be someone who knows what they're talking about. Well, I guess at this point, thanks for watching.